Good morning. To another edition of the morning cup. Oh, yes. And uh, Stephen is saying good morning. Good morning, good morning, Stephen. Good to see you out there. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Welcome to Page Arizona's only morning show. Uh, pretty much. And the best. Yay. Woo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> morning show is for the purposes only. Oh, oh man. my goodness. What day is it? It's Thursday. So close. So close. So close. Yet so far away. Hey, that's my... Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> she stole my song, thingamajiggy. <laughs> I'm the one that has the song lyrics. And t- 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 <laughs> Stop stealing my stuff. Tough nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us. Thanks for being a part of the network. And thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of these videos. Yes. Gina you. says good morning. Good morning, good Gina. Morning, Gina. <laughs> good to see you. Gina is a, is a recent uh, receiver of recipient. LPNN swag. She she purchased shrimp. Uh, yes, yes. And and she has a cup. And yes. she's got a shirt. Yes. That's a happy. Woohoo! Yeah, thank you very much. Stuff. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Talk about a supporter of the network right there. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm uh, gonna... Oh heck no. Oh Lord. Mm-mm. One nope, of these nope, days nope. you're just gonna be like, fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like just get out and I'll be like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right no, you won't know what to do. I know, I'll be out there like... No, you'd probably look at me like that if I said, okay, fine. And you're like, wait a minute, what? Like, she called my bluff, man. She called my bluff. And Stephen saying, the one and only morning cup. Yeah, yes. there it is. Mr. <laughs> Rupert says hello. Yes, yes, and I see you went back to uh, old Rupert. I did, I did. Well, the other one's still a prototype. It's in It's in the works, and we have some plans for that. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> you never know what's coming out. I've got some ideas on it. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, David is saying, the cat's got my tongue, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> You know, cats aren't supposed to actually get your tongue, right? I'm just putting that out there. That's not, that's not good. But they try. The bad kitty. They do try. <laughs> bad kitty. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> Especially um, if, if you're sleeping. Hmm. They they try. Well, at least my cat used to actually try and get your tongue. Well, he he because you know certain times of the year I'd be really clogged up and I'd sleep with my mouth open. And then they and were... he'd he'd try to sniff my mouth in the morning while no. I was sleeping. He'd sit on my chest and then stick his head down your <laughs> mouth. Try to yeah. <laughs> you know I am an animal lover like you would not what? believe. But if a cat did that, it would be drop kicked across the room. What do you think? And, no. and Kimber says, Rupert is back! Yes! <laughs> Yay! I like this Rupert version. I do, I do. Well, the other one is something we're working on. We got, I got some plans for the other <laughs> Rupert. Just saying. Just saying. And Gina's saying, the shirt is amazing. Yay. So soft and better fitting than the Amazon one. Oh, look at Yay! That. Yay! Woo-hoo. Well, that works. Glad to hear that. <laughs> All right. So Teespring it is. Yeah. Apparently so. Well, they got more swag stuff. Anyway. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. Uh, they've got you like tote do bags levels. and phone cases and shirts and long sleeve shirts and sweaters and hoodies and yoga pants. Stuff. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yoga pants. We have yoga pants with Rupert on the leg. I was going to put him somewhere else, but it wasn't quite appropriate. Uh, no, it wasn't. Although I did consider it because it was kind of funny. Uh, you should have done both. One for a gag gift. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And maybe I'll work on something. <coughs> oh, man. I don't know. So so I put it in the title today. Today's Throwdown Thursday, although I don't know what I'm throwing down for. Okay. I just figured it sounded mm, motivating for a Thursday morning. <laughs> so close to Friday, yet so far away. So throwing down the shots of whiskey. They're supposed to be later. It's not five yet, Lois. Uh, yeah, but throw down Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and by throwback, we don't mean throwing back to the past. You throw it back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> Speaking of, of, of throwing back, so yesterday we, we went to a Christmas party. Yes, we did. That was they interesting. It, it was. It, it was, was funny. <laughs> <laughs> they did a gift exchange, which I completely forgot about until, yeah, yeah. you know, we're on our way there. Um, You're like, oh, yeah, by the way. And I'm like, well, lay down, man. Well, lay down. Like, you know, I can't remember what the heck happened five minutes ago. 
You got an email like two weeks ago that you want me to remember the stuff in, and I didn't even read it. So that is totally on you. It I, is. It is. I'm I'm taking full responsibility for forgetting. Uh, we so. did have. <laughs> we had. Th- th- this was hilarious. So so we're there oh. at the Christmas party because you got invited. It, it, yes. And and somebody came up and they're like, Oh hi, how you doing? Because like, oh, because they watch the show and they love the stuff and all that, which is awesome. I love meeting fans. It, yes. Uh, it's not quite as weirding me out as it used to. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting thing. used to it. <laughs> it happens more and more often, but. <laughs> They're like, uh, so are, are you like here, you know, as, as LP and N? Because, uh, you know, Lois was there as well. And I'm like, no, it's, this is a Christmas party. She's like, so are you here in like an official LP and N capacity? I said, no. She's like, well, what are you doing here? I was like, she's your council person. <laughs> <laughs> this is her Christmas party. I am the plus one. <laughs> and she's like, oh. <laughs> so that was, that was kind of funny. It made me it was, it was good. It did. It, it was, it was fun. It was fun, but yeah, you, you are a council person. I am. So now we have to go to official functions. Hey, yes, we do. <laughs> we have another one tonight. And I was wrong. It is not an open bar. Oh, tonight is a cash bar. It's a cash bar. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, man, this is going to be some, some cheap entertainment tonight. Oh, that was like, I was, I, you just stole like all this stuff. <laughs> I was like, man, this is going to be amazing. There's going to be some behind the hat unplugged shenanigans tonight. <laughs> uh, you never know. There may still be. Well, it's just... <laughs> With it. I thought it was an open bar. You got you I got government tried. employees ah. having a Christmas party with an open bar. You can't get more comedic intent ever anywhere. <laughs> I mean, that's like just asking for it. Actually, yes, you can. No. I I used to work for a company um, where the crew would would <clears throat> actually would take that challenge. <laughs> What challenge? The, the challenge of getting more comedic with an oh. open bar. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Come on. <laughs> you can't be having government officials with an open bar. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> Very true. I'm just saying. I <laughs> see. Uh, Kimber says, uh, uh, Roop. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. oh there. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, I just caught up over here. And uh, uh, Kelly says, Good morning. Good morning, good morning Kelly. Kelly. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And thank you guys for liking, sharing, and commenting. Defeat the Zuck Man. Hit yes. those buttons. The more you hit the buttons, the more we spread like a virus. Yay. <laughs> or a good bacteria. <laughs> I am the virus. I will infect the world. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just let it happen, Lois. Just let it happen. Uh, no. Because <laughs> with viruses, you know, you usually take antivirals for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're very ineffective, which means I can still spread. <laughs> You don't have any for bacteria. Uh, I know they have bac- uh, They have uh, antibiotics. Uh, well, yeah, that is true. Never mind. Yeah. Me, me. Uh, me, me, my me, brain's me. not completely scientific uh, this oh. morning. <laughs> yeah, antibiotics don't work on, on the bacteria. Uh-uh. Or so, on, on the virus. Uh, See, now I've got a virus. <laughs> antibiotics only work on bacteria. <laughs> they do not work on viruses. Antivirals sort of work on viruses, but not very well. There. Well, apparently I'm contagious, so... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <clears throat> well, hey, it worked within five seconds. I mean, come on. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was, that was fun last night. I had, I had I had a decent time. Good, good. Which was surprising because I was dreading it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, he was. Oh but my! I goodness. don't want to go. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah! And we have to do it again tonight. Yes. Have you yes. figured out where the heck it is? Um, it, it's, I believe, Antelope Point Marina. I was looking just to see oh, okay. if the bar was a cash bar oh, okay. or open bar. Well, were you looking forward to, to, to being crazy and, and government people shenanigans with an open bar, Lois? What, with me drinking? Oh, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I, were checking, so I, I was asking. I, I, I'm like, no, I was checking you. sound pretty excited, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so excited? <laughs> no, I don't do a lot of drinking in public. Yeah, no. for for very specific reasons. I I learned at a young age <laughs> that I, I should not. Well, so so well, who is it? Ron White that says I did not want to be drunk in public. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe he is. He said that. It, yeah. Yes, he cracks no. me up. It would be one or two drinks, and that would be it for me. <laughs> Yeah, I had a good time. It was fun. And, man, the food was amazing. It was. It really was. And and we all freaked out because they had salad. Yeah. They had salad. It was like... <laughs> it's like, what is it? What, what what lettuce is it? It looks like... You know what? It's green. Screw it. Don't do it, man. 
I did. Um, a bunch of us actually partook in, in the salad. Yeah. And and I, I can't was believe one of them. you actually <laughs> risked it, man. After your romaine incident, I cannot believe you took your life into your own hands. <laughs> you know, there was, uh, I don't remember who it was in, um, in front of us in line uh -huh. for the food, but uh, she did mention that, you know, if she did get sick, <laughs> she'd just sue the city. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'd rather just not get sick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I, 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 I mm -hmm. But uh, I did. I, yeah, I after, seeing, mm -hmm. after seeing what happened to you, I'm going greens free, man. Greens free. <laughs> oh, so, uh, so far, so good. Knock on wood. Um, yeah, well, it takes one to five days. I know, in. right? <laughs> Luckily, I did not eat it, so I will be able to nurse you back to health. <laughs> or death, as the case may be. <laughs> You'll nurse be wishing me to death? death? Yeah. Uh, don't you mean nurse me back from death? No, no that was the uh, first one. The uh, second uh -oh. one, you know, it depends on which way you want to go. At some point, you may be begging me to kill you. <laughs> so, you know, I may just grant that wish so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, uh, no. Be like, this is your fault. I told you not to eat the green stuff and you did it anyway. <laughs> no green stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Green stuff is now the devil. <laughs> just saying. And they're still, they still have a warning out on the freaking romaine lettuce. Uh, they do. They yeah. say if it comes from California, don't eat it! Yep. Or, well, Central Cal... Yep. Whatever. If it's... Yeah. You know what? If it's green, don't eat it. <laughs> that, is, that is the morning show's official recommendation <laughs> of green stuff. If it's green, don't eat it. Morning show is for the table purposes only. Oh, my goodness. I'm just saying that and, stuff is and, dangerous. And Anne is saying, morning, guys. Good morning. And she, she just uh, logged in and she's asking, what did you not eat? What did you not eat? I didn't eat the green stuff. You ate the green stuff. <laughs> You're going to die. You are going to die. <laughs> And yeah. it's all your fault. I wore you. You saw it, and you're like, and I saw it, and I was like, <laughs> and you're like, I'm gonna try it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and you almost had it. it, it no. And Anne is saying it's but it was butter lettuce. I don't care. It's green. <laughs> it's dangerous. No. It's green. No, that is the official thing from Opinions. The morning. Cut. At least half of us. No. I, I am the official here. No. The Morning Cup and Rupert say no to green. <laughs> oh, we're getting more. I, I feel my knee vibrating here. Oh, your knee's vibrating. It, yes. It says, it was butter lettuce. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Tuber says, the romaine diet is not the diet plan I'd recommend. No. Right there with you. Yeah, she was the other <laughs> half of this equation. And though it is extremely effective for losing weight and, uh, you know, things of that nature, it is not recommended. No, no. And it is not even not. recommended by Rupert, who normally mm. loves his greens. Uh, yes. He yes. has switched to a bacon diet for the duration of the uh, various meals. <laughs> <laughs> Until the California lettuce is no longer... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. In production. For this time, yeah. Dave says, I made sure to get a good helping of that greenage. It's a win-win. Eat healthy or get a day off work. <laughs> It'll be more than a day. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just saying. Look at it, at least three to five, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how fast the stuff's going out of both sides, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> mm -mm -mm. But, and we've got another one from uh, oh. Anne. <laughs> 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 it says the Romaine Empire has fallen. Caesar is dead. Yes. Let us pray. <laughs> yeah, there were some good memes that came out of it. Uh, there were. Yeah. There and were. you guys and your whole, you know, the Romaine diet. Uh, oh. <coughs> I was calling it the Romaine cleanse. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you want to cleanse your system? That'll do it, folks. Oh, That'll do it. Definitely. Let me tell you something, man. Not, that was not pretty. No, it wasn't. It was very you should have been at the, the experiencing end. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have put some of that on unplugged. <laughs> Why'd you... <laughs> no, no, we'd lose all our, all, all our memories. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, some of those people, that are like, they, they like the exorcist, and you were putting them in shame. <laughs> Amateurs, man. Amateurs. I'm just saying. Wow. That was impressive. That was like four feet, man. Solid. <laughs> bam! And you didn't even miss. <laughs> Not a drop spilt, man. Oh. It was epic. Oh. <laughs> Just like, oh, what? Wow. Wow. What? wow. <laughs> so if we ever get robbed, I should, you know. Yeah, pretty much you got to teach yourself how to do that on command. <laughs> You know, you know what? That would be an excellent skill to have. You could be one of the circus freaks. Uh, no. Yeah, let's do it. You used to be a carny. Why not a circus freak? 
No. It's an easy transition, right? No, it's not. No. <laughs> well, aren't they like related, you know? Uh, no, they are not. No, they don't even like each other. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> we got a bunch more. Oh, we got all. Oh, oh, oh my I'm my goodness. Goodness. And so we have here, David says, uh, Facebook keeps dropping the morning cup and sending me to a couple of Oriental guys. Uh, I prefer Chris and Lois. Been there, done that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can try on YouTube. We just won't be able to see your comments, uh, David. Yep. <coughs> and Ann says, uh, cabbage lasts longer in the fridge anyway. I do like cabbage. <coughs> However, I, I like it better as sour cream. Yes, I was going to say, you're like, you're like a sauerkraut freak. I am. I am. And, it, I, I, and it's got to be specific. And if it's not the specific good kind that she likes, it has to be uh, uh, flash fried in a skillet. Pretty much, pretty much. Which and is kind of weird. But I, I got spoiled on that when I was stationed down at Fort Bliss. You and got spoiled on that way. I, I did. Okay, right, right. I did. They had the German Air Force down there, and all the wives, they opened a, a restaurant at some point. And all the wives, uh, for those coming in from the German Air Force that were stationed there, would work in the restaurant and cook mm -hmm. um, all their home meals. Oh, and so I got yeah, spoiled right. on real German sauerkraut. See, I've got the problem with real pretzels. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. You know, I, 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 for those of you that, uh, you know, haven't heard this story before, I grew up as a young in, in Germany because my dad was stationed over there. And uh, I miss those pretzels, man. That was a pretzel. You come over here, it, 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 they don't got it. Even their soft pretzels, they suck. I'm just saying, there there is something magical that they put in those pretzels over there, man. And oh, and by the way, there's no nacho cheese in sight. So, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> See, I'm I'm not a fan for for the nacho cheese on soft pretzels. Well, yeah, but I never it, have been. Yeah, but it's like it's a staple mustard. here in the United it, States. Yeah, for me, so. it's always been mustard. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a good mustard, but it's not the same. <laughs> it's just not the it's, same. It, you know, it's probably something in the air. Um, because, like, if you get uh, pretzels or pizza from uh, areas like New York, uh -huh. because of the moisture in the air, it makes it taste a little differently. You're calling it moisture in the air. I was thinking the stench from the streets rolled into the restaurant. Wow. Look at that baked-in flavor, folks. Well, I, I have heard so like many stories mean. about how it stinks in New York City during certain times of the summer and think, well, not certain times, but pretty much all the time. <laughs> you know, it smells like a giant sewer trap and trash trap because it's all baked in with the tall buildings and you get the nice circulation, the aromas. Apparently now it is a food flavoring. How did you know this? I, did, I you, did you do some scientific study? I was saying stem? that was a food flavoring. Um, I was just meaning the level of humidity. It, yeah, but, it, <laughs> but it's soaked in ickiness. And so that, that's what it is. That's what you're telling oh, me, Lois. Anna's saying it's smog. <laughs> and says, oh, God, time to change the subject. <laughs> yeah, smog flavored, icky flavor. I just, mm. <clears throat> And so, you know, in, in, in Germany, you've just, it's it's nice, fresh air. And oh, and Lederhosen. And <laughs> Lederhosen. Oh, my. <laughs> and Oktoberfest flavored. I mean, I'm just saying. Unless it has something to do with the process for the flour. Oh, it could be. It could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Are you doing that? No, no. She's yes. been having nose issues all morning. Oh, oh man. I, I have, yeah. I, I have nostril issues. Nostril today. issues. And they started around, what, two or three this morning? Oh, man. <laughs> It's just horrifying. So, I'm so uh, sorry, uh, though. Uh, your nose, we would just cut it off? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sinuses were a bad invention. Just saying. <laughs> You're just more like a chicken. <laughs> Speaking of chicken. Oh, that, that, that thing. oh yes. My favorite thing from last night. There was a gift and it was called Fifty Shades of Chicken. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Chicken. It was amazing. <laughs> Obviously loosely based on the uh, the book of the alternative name, but it was ways to cook chicken. <laughs> How cool is that? Fifty Shades of Chicken. I think somebody just said what he wants for Christmas. No, I don't want it. I got more than Fifty Ways of Chicken up here. It just was hilarious. Fifty Shades of Chicken. Yeah, that one was good. That was perfect. That was, that was good. Uh, mm. There were some really good gifts. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. But I, I just wanted to... No, I meant overall. Yeah, yeah. You know, there were some really good And they had like a game with it. it was, uh, it yeah, was, yeah. And I felt bad for one person because she was just I know. completely picked on. Um, yeah. and, and what it is, is if you've never done a gift exchange, this one is... is I've um, done plenty of them. None of them turned out like that. <laughs> just saying. So you have your choice of either stealing somebody's gift 
or picking one. Right in the holiday spirit, just like Black <laughs> Friday. You go down, it's a throwdown, man. People go up to you, get a gift exchange, somebody else can gank your stuff. <laughs> and this poor woman, she she kept picking really good gifts, and they're all wrapped. So yes, yeah, so you don't know what it is, but she would get the good stuff. Uh, yeah, and, and people were just stealing it's, stuff. It was terrible. <laughs> I felt it's so terrible. bad. So horrible. <laughs> it was it was bad. But she she did um we, we did talk to somebody who, who said every year she and another person have the best luck. Picking the stuff it, and yeah, then they get robbed. It, it, right. <laughs> so you're telling me that this gift exchange is all about getting mugged. Uh, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> it says uh, allergies are bad because of the wind yesterday. Not anyone's fault. See, there you go. Well, it's my nose's fault right now because oh. it started at you know two or three this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when the wind. Sleep. Got, that was when the wind died down. Yeah. Well, I I need sleep or else I, I I'm a yippee Teresa. <laughs> no, <laughs> we cannot tolerate that. <laughs> no. And oh. today's gonna be a long day. Yes, I said it. Why is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know who you are. Today is going to be a long day. And today is a good day to die. Yes. <laughs> Why is it going to be a long day, Lois? <laughs> well, we, we have to take Tigger back to the vet. Oh, phooey. Oh, phooey. And then um, the news is early tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the Christmas party. <laughs> <coughs> You know. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I have to work on, on business stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I totally... Yesterday, the news was supposed to be early, too. We had to work on a bunch of stuff. We didn't even get started on it until what time, Lois? Two. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was working on other business stuff. No, we were out wandering around doing stuff for business stuff. <laughs> and it took way longer than it was supposed to take. <laughs> All right, I was like, shh, let's go. <laughs> get stuff to do, man. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't know. Oh, my God. Uh, see, uh, it says, I think it's mean to uh, to bring a crappy gift. Love the... Oh, he had a plunger gun. Yes. They had a 12-gauge shotgun that had a plunger on the end of it. It was all plastic. It was not a real gun. I know, but that's like a brilliant idea, man. That will definitely, definitely clear any clog you ever have in your toilet. I'm just saying. What about a bow plunger? No. Like bl- bow and arrow? No. <laughs> 12-gauge shotgun slug will take out any kind of crap you've got to flush. I'm just saying. Wow. No pun intended or all puns intended? Oh, all puns intended on it. Yeah. That thing was epic. And it was actually a hot commodity there for a while. It was. The items can get stolen twice. Well, yeah, that yeah. thing went just like uh, it. did. It did. <laughs> Dave says, uh, <laughs> yes. I know. She couldn't keep a, a, a gift longer than every time uh, she yeah. would get it. Was yeah. It, it was. It was yeah. sad. Yeah. Oh, oh. I felt bad. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, oh, it was it was the fun stuff. But yeah, so yesterday we were supposed to, you know, get in all things and make it into this thing, and, and we ended up being outdoors for a long time. What? An and I even warned you. No, it was longer than that. I don't know. <laughs> but I told you we we were gonna go stop somewhere. I'm like, no, we shouldn't do that because it's gonna take like an hour. And you're like, no, no, it'll be like ten minutes. An hour later, we went home. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Lois. No. no. <laughs> Apparently, Elvian and has been hostily taken over. It has, because, oh. you know, Lois hasn't had sleep. Oh, man. I'm going to have Rupert bite you in the nose. It may make it feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, this show is for your favorite purpose of telling. Uh, yeah, but, uh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. No, oh. oh, what? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's not supposed to be contagious, right? <laughs> I told you I'm contagious today. Oh, man. <laughs> That's it. Oh, that you know what? That's why it's throw down Thursday. <laughs> Apparently, the scientists are having a throw down. <laughs> ay, 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 oh man. goodness gracious! <coughs> Big balls of fire. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't oh, do it, man. You, you, I can't. I quit. Oh, baloney. Oh, heck no. Not a big fan of baloney, except for in certain situations. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the PG-13 version. I don't know. <laughs> All right, fine. Jeez, man. So mean today. So mean today. No, I'm not. All right, so uh, I want to jump into some stuff what? here, because I, so I, we're going to do yours in a minute. What? But apparently, so th- this is this is a headline for you guys. We're kind of shifting subjects here. I know you have no. a list, Lois, but I want to do this No, first. no. What's really funny is Ooh. I have something along the same lines. Okay. So, 
Apparently, there is a super colony <coughs> of one and a half million penguins that has been hidden for over 3,000 years. Wow. One and a half million penguins. No one knew they existed. They've been hidden for 3,000 years. And they have been discovered through scientific means. Apparently, from space, you can see their pink poo on, uh, on it, ice. It, 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 I don't want to know why the, why it's pink. I, I, <laughs> I'm what? going with because they like eat shrimp or something like a flamingo. I don't know. Oh but either way, my. from orbit, they were taking pictures of stuff and they're like, what is all that pink crap? Oh, well, it's <laughs> pink crap. And they found one and a half million penguins down there in Antarctica wow. that have been completely isolated and and been well not completely isolated but they've, no, they've never known about this. They've been there for three thousand years, and they found out because of an orbital picture of their pink toilet. Wow! How cool is that? I mean, it, it's weird, but <laughs> how cool is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here it says here, researchers use satellite images to track penguins by their waist, called guano. I thought it was bat guano. Is penguin guano? I, I, think, I think guano is a technical, is truly a technical. Well, I know, but I thought it was bat related. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Come on, uh, now. Un unless they're It says here, to bats. oh, well, you were asking about the pink. It says here, they say the different colors reveal what they're eating, with uh, white being fish. So I wonder they must. It's kind of uh, uh, so. Oh, wait, 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 what? What are they eating, man? Okay. <clears throat> look at that penguin. Oh, is it cute? He is oh, cute. Look at that face. I, I, I like penguins. Penguins. Yeah, are penguins cute. are cute. I'm trying to see what the what the pink is means they're eating, but it doesn't say. Um. Um. La 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 <laughs> la la la. Okay, la, la, if you la, give me baloney. Oh, la, la, krill. La. Ah, krill. <laughs> yeah, you don't touch it. So you got pink poo. Yeah. Anyway, I, I wanted to bring red. that up because it was hilarious, and hey. they they found yes. them by their poo. That, that that is funny, and, and and it's actually pink and red. Oh well, there you go. And and for humans, you know that that says issues. <laughs> yeah, if your, if your stuff is pink and red, <laughs> don't. That's a whole different problem. But yeah, that's good. <laughs> anyway, I I just wanted to like bring that up because right. it was kind of funny. So it's funny that that they discovered them by by their waist. Mm -hmm. Pull up um, the the list I sent you. Oh sure, yeah. Now maybe, there maybe was a nice. study. Scroll down. Oh boy, here we go. Scroll down. It should say um next to it. Uh, uh, la, <laughs> la, la, la. Really, Lois? Really? Oh, there, there it is. is. All right. Yep. Come now on. there was a study that was paid for to discover why. What? <laughs> this is, I thought this was like a, no. This is, no. <laughs> no, because uh, this is supposed to be a joke. It's no, because that, that's creepy. So the headline says, why do wombats poop cubes? <laughs> now we know. I'm curious, Lois. <laughs> why do wombats poop cubes and ouch? I'm just what? saying. Because um, their their bodies absorb so much of the nutrients that that's just pretty much how they come out. <laughs> they still, what do they have, like a little trash compactor in it? <laughs> and then the cube comes out? How does that work, Lois? And, you can't and, just leave and, it at that. And scientists are, uh, scientists are also believing that it's used... Um, it, it's an evolutionary thing. For, it's, for, it's a building product for wombats so they can make little houses. Uh, not houses, but marking their territory. It's so they can stack them to mark. Are you serious? <laughs> they have evolved house. to stack their own <laughs> beep. <laughs> wow. And you can stack beep how high? About, about <laughs> wombat high, apparently. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh man! This oh it says, <laughs> they that, but they don't handle and stack their stuff like Lego bricks. At least not when humans are watching. <laughs> Still, cube-shaped nuggets may be convenient in that they don't roll away easily. <laughs> But that still doesn't answer the question of how they make the cubes. <laughs> Ew! Where where did it? Ah. <laughs> All right, you're the one who brought where this did... topic up. No, because it no, <laughs> it's your fault, Lois. How how is it my fault? Because I said so. You brought the topic up by talking about 
how penguins were discovered. <laughs> penguins were discovered by their pink stuff. <laughs> right, and these guys are studying there, squares. There is a picture of the creature <laughs> in question. <laughs> Apparently, you know what? Maybe that's why they have a sour disposition. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you had to do, if you had to go to the bathroom and square stuff was coming out, that'd probably not be very comfortable. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, but that means that their bodies are built for that. <laughs> well, I guess if you kind of look at him, he is a little cube-shaped. He is. He's kind of square. It looks like some of my re- dogs growing up. Rectangular, I should say. <laughs> you know, walking Ottomans. <laughs> it is a walking Ottoman. <laughs> but wombats are also the ones, if I remember correctly, is it, I think, is it wombats? I think it is. Is it no, no, it's not wombats. It was the uh, that was the Tasmanian devils that have leprosy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Their, their realize... whole population has leprosy. It's terrible. I, I did not realize they had leprosy. Yeah, they do. The whole the whole population of and, and, and yeah, and they're and it's it's wiping them out. And, and they're it's dying out. It's Aww. terrible. But oh. wombats apparently not. They're just uh, Ottomans. Yeah, they're walking um, Ottomans. They are walking Ottomans. <laughs> yeah, that gives a whole new meaning for those of you that have been in the military before about. About bleeping a square-sided Technicolor brick on order. <laughs> These guys actually have it down to at least square-sided, so they have evolved to almost military service. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you get a Technicolor? Well, it's uh, that's the crayon-eating people in the military. Uh, that's just saying. That, that's the penguins. <laughs> Apparently the penguin, yeah, but they, they they got the shape wrong, so they got to, these guys have to get together and collaborate. Uh, there you go. So yeah, all right, all right, I got it, I got it. All right, let's see. Uh, Dave says uh, guano refers to excremental accumulation of seabirds and bats. Okay. Oh, okay, I always thought it was weird uh, that bats got uh, tossed in with all those birds. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So guano is like a winged layer. things, or just a layer of poop. Uh, yeah, that could be. Yeah, but, you know they actually mine that stuff for all kinds of stuff. Like makeup products. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like mascara. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's only the really expensive kind, though. The cheap stuff, you're safe. It only has lead and arsenic in it from China. <laughs> but anyway, apparently bat guano is highly wanted because it, it's, it, it smears just so no. upon the face. That's, uh, t- no. Yeah, but it, just, it does. No. It's hilarious, Lois. Uh, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. And see, the funny thing is, is uh, this is how trends work. At one point in time, that <coughs> was the cheap stuff. Yeah. And, now and people the- complained. <laughs> and so... Like, why they, am I rubbing poo uh, on my face? Yeah. And people were having issues and technology got better and manufacturing got better. And and, and now, now people are like, I want to rub poo on my face. Uh, yeah. And now it's used for the high-end stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, how the times change <laughs> and the tables turn. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we would rather put poo on our face than the uh, the, the the equivalent in Chineseium stuff. <laughs> well, it's you know that's that's the metals that kill you that are in all the manufacturing. Products. Oh yeah, goodness, this is why you don't eat it. Pretty much, don't eat. Uh, <laughs> but you're still smearing it all over your face, Lois. <laughs> like, look at me. I have some arsenic, a little bit of chromium. <laughs> Little lead, yeah, there it is, man. <coughs> oh goodness! Yeah. So you know it's the good stuff if it says contains poo. It, it, it would say guano. I know. <laughs> but most people be like, "What's guano?" That's what it is. <laughs> and apparently, it's a layer of it. And actually, you know what? If I remember correctly, <coughs> yes. uh, sorry guys. Goodness. Apparently, we have gone to plaid. <laughs> That's the first time in it's quite some time. Orange and red plaid. Yeah. Oh, there. <clears throat> no. We saw green. Shh, shh. Just let ah! it happen. It's doing stuff. We're sorry, guys. I was right. Hopefully, the audio is still working. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. I don't know what the heck happened. It was just like, boo. You know I what know. it was? It's because we were talking about poo. Oh, my. And so I decided to self censor. Oh, boy. People I, are I, horrified. I, they don't want to hear about poo for I, I, I think it was the wombat site. Yeah, well, you know what? It could <laughs> okay, Once again, upload speed, Lois. <laughs> Upload. Yeah, but still, pages go with download. I I understand, but two different streams. Don't cross the streams, man. Don't cross the streams. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is not Ghostbusters. Uh-huh. Uh, nah. It is. So we've got a couple of things. What would you like to talk uh, about? Oh no, just pick something, oh, man. Scroll back down. Scroll oh, my back down. Goodness. So there, there's so many okay. links in here. Found my challenge for next year. You found oh, so you do you you do the challenge so, thing, huh? So oh yeah, this one definitely maybe. So a lot of us have oh, seen yeah. the memes of 
Would you stay at this place if without internet, without phone oh, yeah, or yeah. anything like that for X amount of dollars? Well, vitamin water is choosing one person, and I'm gonna so sign up for this. Oh my god. Um, is choosing one person to go without their smartphone for all of 2019, and they will pay them $100,000 if they're able to do it. You know, if I didn't have LPN, I would totally sign up for that. <laughs> and and saying, what oh, you know being... what? If I disappear, now you know why. <laughs> Either I've been kidnapped by government officials and I'm being probed by aliens, or I have uh, I have uh, taken this challenge and I'm not using my phone anymore. <laughs> So, so what what it is is they will replace your phone with an early two thousands phone. Oh, okay. Well, that still works. So you can you still, still communicate. Have, yeah. Oh, excuse me. So God, can you imagine going back to that kind of texting? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was horrifying. And you, man, you think people today they're like, oh, you know, because they have the disorders with the thumbs now because they're texting all the time. Man, go back to them old school phones. It's got a normal number pad. Each button has three letters, and you guys say, "Not each button." There was, there was what one that has four? Whatever. <laughs> You're missing the point, Lois. <laughs> totally out of left field over there. <laughs> yeah, you gotta sit there and go ding, 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 and they have no yeah. idea how bad it was when, when the text is first and, and, started coming. And it took what maybe six months of continuous texting or texting to train often yourself to train yourself okay this is how many so you didn't have to look yeah it is. <laughs> and it, people are like what are you doing because look you've got some kind of palsy or seizure <laughs> in your hand like, oh. like what are you doing i'm texting man <laughs> like what's texting and now everybody's got you know touch screens with keyboards and swipe and this and that it's like <laughs> <laughs> so yes but it, you still get a phone though uh, yes you do you you do still get a phone uh, what the Oh, gee, that's sorry, oh. guys. A gigantic ad has taken over the computer. <laughs> uh, Gina says, you're still there. Yay! Woohoo! And uh, Ed says, what? Repeat, please. I have no idea because of the lag and the fact that everything was dying. And Gina says, uh, cut off my appendage? <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound pleasant. No, and Ann is it. apparently lost her mind. I don't know. There's a lot of laughy faces. For that. <laughs> so, so um, scroll down because I, I don't really remember all the details. Um... Is you have to um, enter the contest. Uh, the way you enter the contest is by sharing on Instagram or Twitter why you feel you are up for the challenge using the hashtags no phone for a year and hashtag contest. But it, there is a phone. You just said that they were going to give you an early 2000 flip phone. Uh, right, but it's your smartphone. Right. But, and the, but their whole thing is. is is no phone for a year okay. because most people have smartphones now. You know what the interesting thing is is that you know they you would think that they would want to promote it so so you you're not going to be able to you know do anything with Twitter or Instagram or any of that stuff on that so you'd actually have to use a computer and and they didn't say you have to buy I, a computer I don't really know what the rules are well, I'm but just it would be I mean it would and it's probably you know one of the things is because you do have Instagram you do have Twitter. Um, you have to do it all on your computer. It, yeah, you'd have to do it through your computer or through other means. Yeah. And, you know, rise, rise above. And, uh, Sounds well, easy enough to me. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. so yeah, right. Yeah. So, so, it's not that big a deal. I'm like, all right. I am so signing up for this. $100,000? I mean, because yeah, Although really? breaking news reports would be interesting. I, there, I do have a way to do it without a smartphone. However, it's more of a pain in the butt. You're not allowed to. Why? Because you are LPNN. Oh, it, you need but, your your phone. I know because I, I, yeah. I have other ways of doing it. No, no, no. I do. No, I swear. Not. Ah, oh, come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of us in this in this uh, house and in this company can sign up for it. Uh, wait, it <laughs> says your smartphone. What if I loan you mine? Oh my. Yeah. Well, I there... found a loophole. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, hey, I don't want to deal with these people. You talk to them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That would be amazing. Totally so, epic. So, yes. Uh, let's see. Ann says, I have voice text, so I don't have to type. <laughs> see? Yeah. Imagine going back to the old flip phone, though. Ain't no voice text to that thing. It has the processing power of a lump of coal. <laughs> Ann says, uh... Do they give uh, your original your original yes. phone back? Yes. Yeah, but after a year, you probably were going to upgrade anyway. <laughs> oh, and Gina's <laughs> explaining the appendage. Gina says, my phone is my appendage. Oh! 
<laughs> Especially for you, because you... Uh, ah, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Kimber <laughs> says, uh, loophole tablets can be connected to the wireless provider. Yeah, see? You're, you're she's on the smartphone. She's on the safe wavelength yeah. with me. Think outside the box, man. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> and uh, Ed says, I have an iPhone uh, 10, so I would want it back if I had to give it up. Oh, definitely. And Dave says, uh, tablets are not allowed, and you can't use any, including a friend's. Oh. oh. Is that in the rules, Dave? Did you read it? Uh, probably. Well, that's not as fun now. And, and vitamin water, um, the article that I, I pulled up for mm-hmm. this, um, vitamin water has not gone into detail how they'll monitor, but they do say a lie detector test will be involved. And we had that discussion yesterday with somebody. You're screwed. You I can't do this. I would anyway. <laughs> She cannot tell a lie. I can't. I can't. Um, I've, I've Which is had, good, but it's also it, just like, wow, it, weird. Yeah. Um, I've actually gone for uh, to several job interviews, and the jobs required a lie detector test, and I actually failed them on the um, baseline question. Yeah, because she couldn't do what she was supposed to on the baseline <laughs> question. Uh, yeah. So and, is that because you can't tell a lie, or just because you can't follow instructions? Uh, no. It, <laughs> I, I mean, one of the questions... Uh, and it was to give you a baseline of what your body's response is when you lie. Mm-hmm. Um, and the the interviewer had a coat hanging on the wall, and the coat was blue. And he told me, I want you to say the coat is red. It was right in front of me, and I kept saying blue. <laughs> you just Even, couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> there are four <laughs> I just couldn't do it. <coughs> and so because we couldn't set a baseline, I ended up failing. <laughs> That's funny. There's, there's probably a few people out there that got that reference. I know you didn't, but... No. There are four lights! It was no. a, it's Star Trek The Next Generation, Captain Picard. He was being <sighs> tortured and being told that there were only three lights, when in fact there were four and they were trying to break him. And that was like the line of the show. There are four. <laughs> Just saying. So, um, oh, wait, let's there. see. Uh, we've got... Dave says, I did read it, and that's part of the rules. Ah, nuts. And says, geez, might as well move to South America for a year. <laughs> that's funny. And now, I want, I'm, I'm going to have to read the rules because being on council... Um, you have we, that we stupid have tablet, tablet thing, yeah. And so I'm wondering what type of um, usage... You know, because that's strictly for... Well, you just read crap on that, right? Yeah, yep. I don't know if that cares. You're, you're not really <laughs> technically... I mean, I guess you could communicate by email, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess you had to look into so, it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to look into it. Into yeah, otherwise you'd be like, I can't do my job because I'm doing a contest for $100,000. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and Anne is saying um, uh, Picard could not be broken. Nope, he could not. <laughs> that is actually one of my favorite episodes, next to The Inner Light. Oh, okay. That is one of my that favorite That one I know. Episodes. Yeah, The Inner Light, freaking amazing. <laughs> but uh, uh, Patrick Stewart's acting chops really come out in uh, in that one. It, it's amazing. I don't remember that he one. He gets captured by the Cardassians, and not the Car- Kardashians, Cardassians. <laughs> the alien race in Star Trek, not the alien race in New Jersey. <laughs> Whole different. Are they in New Jersey? Right? I don't remember. I, don't know. I think they may be in California. Are they? I have no idea. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Either way, they look about the same as Cardassians, from what I've been told, and the crap that goes across my feet. I'm like, what? Why do people like these idiots? But anyway, that's a whole other story. Oh goodness I'm gracious! Just saying, man. Oh, oh fuck! Oh goodness. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, see, at least she knows what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, and I, that's that's you know, LPN part of the network right there. My, my fellow nerds are out there with me. See? Yeah. Look at that. I'm yeah. a fellow nerd just in different areas. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and you have you don't have the weird, sticky memory that I do for uh, odd no, stuff. No, I don't. I, I remember really the don't. damdest things. Uh, yes, you do. And, and it comes at the weirdest times. Uh, uh-huh. Pretty much. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand how it functions. <laughs> just random stuff. We'll be doing something, and then... Hey, this is kind of related, sort of. <laughs> and there it is, and it's right at my fingertips. <laughs> Completely useless facts, weird jokes, strange songs, 
they just, you know, my brain's like, here, how about this? <laughs> and I'm like, sure, why not? And sometimes people get it, sometimes people don't, but I get a laugh out of it, so it's all good. <laughs> I said my brain works. It's like a random little... Oh, my. Yes, that's that's pretty much how it seems. <laughs> that's not nice, Lux. No. Oh. You're so, you're so mean to me. Oh, goodness. Let's um, see. Yeah. So Ann says, uh, you know that contest would be difficult. Everything is online. Bill pay statements. Can you imagine having to call the bank every day to see what has cleared and what your balance is? But if you can use a computer. Yeah. If you can use your computer. Yeah, I was going to say that I wouldn't have any issues with it because yeah, I, neither. I'm not one of those people that likes doing everything on their smartphone. I mean, I do what I have to on it. It's nice that it can do those things, but I can't see squat. So I need a big monitor, which is why I bought a big phone. But it's not. It's, you know, <laughs> I like I like the computer. I like my normal keyboard. I like being able to do stuff on that. I, I love my my birthday present keyboard. <laughs> yeah, that thing's awesome. I'm glad you like yeah, it. I, yeah, I do. Yeah. We'll we'll have to take well, pictures. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, no, we can we can actually bring it in for one of the morning yeah, shows and show everybody. Okay. Her keyboard I got her for her birthday is a. Uh, it's designed to look like an old-fashioned typewriter with the circle uh, yes. keys, and it actually has really hard clicks when you when you're typing it. It sounds like there's a herd of freaking <laughs> horses or cattle back there. Going <laughs> <laughs> it does. You can hear it across the it. house, and it's nice and sturdy. Yeah, it, it better be. <laughs> yeah, it's got a solid billet of aluminum for the base. That's over like it's over half an inch thick, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. So it's got some. You can kill somebody with that yeah. thing. You pick that up and clock them, that's it. They're done, man. Down for the count. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I love my keyboard, though. So going it's... back to my mind thing. Oh, boy. So I said down for the count, and you know what the first thing that popped in my head was? I don't know what. One. Ah, ah, ah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. This is the kind of crap that was on in my brain. <laughs> That's the first thing. And as I was saying it in my brain, I could see you clocking somebody. Bam! One. Ah, ah, ah. And then you get the next one. Bam! Two. Ah, ah, ah. I'm just saying. Today is brought to you by the letter C for crazy. Uh, crazy Chris. There it is. Yeah. C squared. That's my new nickname. C squared. Crazy Chris. Oh, I'm dying over here. <laughs> <laughs> See, and you're describing that, and I can I can envision that happening, and you in the background counting one. Uh, 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 and you know you know what else just popped in my head while we were sitting here? Let the body settle. Let the body settle. <laughs> just saying, this is the crap I have to deal with on a normal day, a daily basis. The weirdness comes out. It's not my fault. It just happens. Oh, remember, guys, do not drink coffee while watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we should put that up as a caveat. Oh. Kimber says you broke her again. Apparently yes, so. yes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, God. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No? <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm telling you, <laughs> on a daily basis, this is what I have to do. Oh. <laughs> The fact that I can actually function in normal society is a miracle <laughs> of epic <laughs> proportions. <laughs> I'm oh, just saying. Good Lord, no. Just putting the word out there, man. I don't know what's going on in there, but it just random stuff comes up in there. Mm. <laughs> oh, speaking of random stuff. What? We're going to go random here. Oh, we got enough time for like one we, more. We do. Uno mas. Uno Mas. Uno Mas. Very last link. Uh, this one? Yep. Oh, heck no. This is a long one, man. It, it, well, okay. Oh, we can do it. Okay. We well, can, we totally can do go it. to the one that says didn't even know this was a thing. No, no, because it, this actually ties into what we were just talking about. So we have to do it, but we, it's a long one. All right, we'll try and rush it. We'll, we'll go. We got to do it. Wait a minute. Are we, are you <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over there, Lois? <laughs> I, I'm doing my giggly thing. <laughs> Anne is rolling her eyes at me. Aww. And uh, Gina says that was hilarious. Count. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, thank well, you. Hit pause. Ah, ah, ah. What the heck? <laughs> All right. So. Stupid autoplay. <laughs> this is real. This is news. I don't 
care because we have to bring it up because this is the most well not the most ridiculous but this has got to be in the top five, top ten. I don't. Wanna... It's California, so they yeah. keep coming and up. You know, they're trying to outdo themselves. They really are, and and this was this was messaged to me yesterday, and my only response to it was a face palm emoji. Yeah, just... that was it. <laughs> I mean, it just no. Which <laughs> so. I'm going to go ahead and read the headline and let it sink in just a little bit. <laughs> California is seriously considering a tax on text messages. You heard that right, folks? And you heard it here first. Well, probably not. But anyway, <laughs> California is seriously considering a tax on text messages. What? A <laughs> there is. A, there is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I broke him. <laughs> I this one up. But they, they're gonna tax, tax, tax messages. <laughs> there is a commission. If there is California. something that those grubby little greedy buggers can tax, they will find a way to get their fingers in that pie. Now, now, I've I've read several articles on this. Okay, most of them are not explaining oh no there is a lot more yeah you're, you're right they, they don't explain everything yeah um and and, and californians I, I feel so sorry for you but y'all need to stand up and take your state back no, it's their own fault <laughs> it is their own fault they elected these people so so um actually i don't know if they elected these specific I people no. because it's it's coming from a commission the legislation, the legislation that comes out to, of california yeah. is done they, they do it to themselves that's why we have to build the wall um stay on your side <laughs> <laughs> what? um Hold on. so <laughs> David says, I keep getting cascades of smileys floating up on my screen. Yeah, I like it. Uh, Anne says, oh my God, truly, truly the land of fruits and nuts. Yes, yeah, I, pretty I much. <laughs> it is quite, uh, it's quite uh, fruitful and multiplying in my reign. And Kimber says, uh, that was my reaction exactly. And what why, call. pray tell. Um, so, <laughs> this is, this tax is to help support, and, and this is how it is in the bill, or the proposed bill. Um, that no helps, one's telling you about. Help support low-income people to have cell phones. So they're going to text your text messages so that you you, you can support people that, that, that don't have to phones. Have, yes. So they get free phones. Yes. So and, then and what you're saying, so then what you're saying is if I decide not to get a job and be lazy, I could get a free phone from people that are working so that I can be able to text people and then get taxed for that. Well, then it's, it's also not just for the unemployed. It's for those, <laughs> it's for those that, that uh, the state considers being underemployed. Underemployed. <laughs> I can't. That's um, that, that's another My show. blood pressure is ah! rising. So that's one thing that that the news uh, the news stations are failing to. Yeah, mention. they're leaving that part out. They're just they're like, also, oh, they're going to tax us. They're also For leaving Christmas. a huge, uh -oh. huge thing out regarding this. And number one, this would if this passes, it goes into effect next month, and it's retroactive to five. years. Years. A five year retroactive what? tax. How many texts have you sent? <laughs> For those of you in California, Stan, welcome to the new uh, Big Brother's scheme to take more money from you. <laughs> what? Did that so, so, at least there are. God. <laughs> at least there are. Multiple, and I mean by so far hundreds of people on that have taken to it social needs to be media. More than hundreds. If there's only well, hundreds that are that are this pissed. was just a a quick ten minute scan on social media okay. this morning. Okay. Okay. There should be millions <laughs> of them suckers up in arms, man. <laughs> oh. So on social media, and I just went to Twitter. There are tons of people from California that surprisingly are not very receptive to this idea. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I've got, I was going to say, I've got a lot of comments over here. Yeah. Uh, Anne says, uh, enter NSA and reminiscent of Orwell's 1984. Unfortunately, 
Uh, in a lot of ways, we are so far past what he could have imagined, it's nauseating. <laughs> it's people! Uh, it's a different show. And Gina says, they want to use the money to buy phones for all those that can't buy a phone. I won't say anything derogatory, but I was already there. <laughs> We're in the stores for entertainment purposes. <laughs> And Kimber's like, bleep, 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 bleep. we told you to move. You wouldn't listen. Now your phone and your text is getting taxed. Just saying. You better have, you know what? It, those one word response texts, those are no longer going to be a thing. Maybe that's what it is. They're, it's the grammar police that are trying to get people to make, because it'll be by text message. So instead of sending random like one letter or one word texts, Actually, they will actually, it's not going to be... Um, shh, shh, you're going to ruin my joke. Uh-oh. I don't want to hear it. It is what I say it is. Deal with it, Lois. <laughs> and uh, Gina says, oh my gosh, mass exodus from California. No, stay on your side of the freaking <laughs> motor. Here. You screwed up your state, you get to live with it. Because they're going to come here and do the same damn thing. That's how so, it works, man. So you need to pull up. I, I took Willie, some, what I, I, Pull up my other article. Oh, the other thing I sent you. So I I took some screenshots this morning of two morning show appropriate. Yes, morning. um, Because there's a lot of people that are not exactly happy about. uh, No, no. uh, Um, and and very few of them are morning show appropriate. Just saying. Um, and uh, (laughs) these were two that I was able to find uh, in response to this. yeah, Bill. <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on. So here so, is the uh, picture for that. So this is from Brody Surface, and he says, California with this text tax be like. <laughs> and it's so true. It is. And if you do more than one of those things at a time, if you're capable, since you're from California, um, <laughs> you get a double text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shut off my Facebook. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Anne says, I'm sure Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint will fight this. They're trying. They yes. already have. Uh, people yes. will just relinquish their phone. Hey, all the Californians can either the, the smart water contest. <laughs> yes. There you go. I don't see it happening, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would be nice. But oh, Kira yes. says, pagers are going to make a comeback. No, because they'll, they, they'll text that. They will tax it. <laughs> if they can find a way, they will tax it. <laughs> That's just what they so, do. So we real quick because oh, we're, we're, we're running out of time. Running, running out of time. We've got another. Uh, Is there one underneath this? Uh, yes, uh, right there. Oh. Right. <laughs> says of course California wants to tax your text messages. They would tax your toilet use if they could. Ah uh, yes. They actually do. They do. <laughs> At, that's part of your uh, <coughs> water conservation. <laughs> <laughs> they actually were working on one that was going to limit. How many times you can flush your toilet and how many showers you can take? Yes. And yes. I think that did it pass? I don't um, remember. I, I, I do not remember, but I, I do know with the water conservation, yes, you, you are limited to how much water you can use. Stay on your side of the border. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. So, Holy cow. California's, Californians, you need to take your state back because... Y'all done gone off the deep end, and I didn't think that was even possible because I already... They went off the deep end decades ago. I there. I know. <laughs> They're like, hey, look, we found a new trench. We can swim lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting towards the Mariana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all these posts. We really do appreciate it. Uh, we're we're so far past. So Anna oh, saying God. real quick, maybe people should just start pooping in front of the state capitol building. They already do that in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're thinking of putting out public toilets so that it stops happening on the sidewalk. <laughs> And Kimber says, you told me to move. I did. Uh-huh. We warned you. <laughs> and Gina says, if they'd close their borders. <laughs> yeah. Let's just stay. <laughs> right, no, just no. Stay on the West Coast. So anyway, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being a part of the network. We hope you have an amazing day. Hopefully this, uh, the, the morning cup has brightened your day. <laughs> if not driven you completely insane. Uh, yeah. And uh, possibly cleansed your sinuses. <laughs> oh, my. That is one of our goals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Who's ready for some rumor? I am. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>